All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Stacey's Mom podcast. Uh, we are very excited. And look, I say that every time. We're very excited. but You're so excited. You didn't even say who you were this time. Oh, yeah. I'm Stacey. I always... And I'm her mom. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, and today we have uh, the organizer, Bob Barnes, of the Baja Con and the MC uh, of Baja Con joining us to talk about Baja Con. Oh, <laughs> so awesome. What a coincidence. What a total coincidence. Um, so they're going to be sharing everything to know about Baja Con, which is, I think, one of, I mean, I haven't been to any of the conferences, but I have been looking at all of them because I wanted to go. And honestly, this one looks yeah, like amazing. The incredible. The lineup is like so spectacular. And all the events. And so we had invited them to come on to tell everyone how incredible it's going to be because we would love for everyone to come. We want to so, gush. So here yeah. we go. So let's start the show. Yay. Yay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Well, pretending like we haven't been talking already, but that's, you know, I whatever. Know. I'm excited. <laughs> um, me, me really? too. Yeah. Um, wow. I, I also forgot to say, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell. To the, our show. And I also wanted to say really quickly, hi yeah. to everyone in the chat. Arch Radish, who, thanks for joining us, um, as well as Pragmatic Crystal and Jason. Um, but it's always great when I see a friend that I haven't seen here before. So I wanted to say hi to Arch really quick. Yeah. Um, he was in the Shiny Happy People um, documentary that is on Amazon Prime. Amazing. So hi, Arch. Hi, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, anyways, welcome to Bob and Jeff. Thanks for being our guest today and sharing everything about Baja Khan. I can't wait to get started talking about this. So let's, let's begin. talk. <laughs> Well, I'll start, and then and Jeff's a better talker than I am, so I'll, I'll let him go on. But <laughs> I just wanted to let everybody know that we think we got the perfect location, the perfect venue, everything. It, it, it's just like a, 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 a puzzle that just come together. The, the the Where our venue is, it's a brand-new Four Points Sheraton uh, Hotel. It used to be a, a Holiday Inn. And they just put about 20 to 30 million in and converting it. And it's wow. just all, everything's brand new. And wow. uh, uh, the, the sound system, the, just everything in this place is new. But when I say perfect, we're, we're so close to so much population within an hour's drive. Like Toronto's got 6 million people in greater Toronto. But yeah. but within a day's drive, we've got Chicago, we've got Indianapolis, uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, uh, uh, Pittsburgh, all that stuff. So we're, we're really located right. And the other thing that is we have in our favor is the difference in American Canadian money. You know, uh -huh. we, we had people. Good for them, not so much for us. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, exactly. Uh, last year we had uh, attendees besides from Ontario. But we had from 20 different states, from as far away as Washington State, Florida, Missouri, wow. Virginia. You just go on and on and name it. So, But this year, we're surprised how many people have already registered. We're not, not officially wanting to register people to the 1st of April, but there's some that are so anxious they want to get on that we've had people this year already from – uh, you probably know when I say Kirkland, it's in yeah, like, yeah. Kirkland, we, Washington. Yeah. Yep. We have people. I was, who, actually, got I was start. just yeah. in Washington state last week and I'm yeah, like, I see right that. near, I'm, yeah, right near Kirkland. Yeah. <laughs> but we have people from Florida, from uh, Virginia again, from New York state, from Illinois, Minneapolis, Missouri, and they're already registered. And, oh, wow. uh, uh, and it's, you know, I'll just tell you, when we first started our conference, we only reached out to about a 600 mile radius when it came to the meetup groups and the Facebook groups, because we thought that's that's the limit. But after running to and seeing how far people will come when it's a good conference with a, a good lineup, they'll come a long ways. And, mm -hmm. and we've I, we've registered people already from Texas here as well. People are coming a long ways. and. Mm -hmm. and because uh, 
uh, you know, of, of her lineup. But the thing that people like the, the, the most, I think, about our conference, I'm going to let Jeff take over and talk about how we do the round tables and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's your cue. That's your cue, yes. Jeff. So, so we have round Wait, tables. Yeah. Um, so we have round yeah, tables. We have round tables. <laughs> so the, the, whole, the whole idea of uh, uh, the way we want to design the conference is to really have it um, as a place where you can have conversations. So um, instead of just having rows of chairs where no one knows the person they sit next to at the theater, um, mm -hmm. having round tables where you can spark conversations, meet new people. Um, and the speakers also come and sit down and uh, move around the room and spend time with, with people as well, which is really fun. Not every conference has the ability to do that. So, you know, that's something that we're, uh, that we're quite proud of being able to Amazing. do that. So, um, but yeah, we do, as to Bob's point, we do get a lot of people coming up for the United States or down from the United States, depending on your geography. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, last year, I did a presentation explaining the differences between Canada and the United States for them so they could understand what we were saying. I tried not to accidentally speak metric, so uh, we were able to to maintain some uh, conversation there. So, um, But yet a really good uh, variety of people that showed up. And, uh, you know, we're really proud of our lineup this year. We have uh, um, have some returning speakers that are very popular, um, people like uh, David Fitzgerald and Hemet Mehta. Of course, Seth Andrews and uh, Aaron Ra, and um, oh, just so to excited. name a few, name a couple, <laughs> good and then, name dropping and, there, Jeff. Good name then, dropping, and then some new ones, and some new ones as well. So uh, we have Megan Lewis coming this year. Um, we have Melanie Tarrett King coming this year. We have uh, uh, Abby Hafer coming this year. So um, some others yet. So yeah, great lineup. I do suggest yeah. though, um, if anyone's coming to the VIP dinner, if you're sitting at the table with uh, with Aaron. Um, and he brings out a little bottle Hot of spice. Sauce. A little uh, bottle of spice. Do not borrow. Um, just be very, very careful. It it doesn't take much. So yeah, yes. uh, it was very good. But uh, yes, I would I would caution you with with his spices. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Right. What a fantastic conversation though. I was had the pleasure of uh, having dinner with with Aaron and his wife the first night, and and uh, mm. just. Uh, <laughs> just a fun bunch of people to just sit and talk to. So, Right. What we do uh, that's different, I think, than most conferences, we really uh, appreciate our speakers. We want them to feel like they're royalty when they come to our place. Good. So what we do, uh, we have a meeting before the, the conference, and we present them all with a, a, a gift basket with a bottle of local wine and local uh, – brewery and uh, maple syrup and, and honey and all these kind and a shirt and all that stuff and and my wife puts them together and does a real nice job nice and and that makes it makes the speakers really feel welcome but That's we amazing. also ask them a few things at, at this meeting because we don't want the speakers to be go sit at all one table together mm -hmm. we ask them to spread yourselves around don't it's sit at the same table together and uh, on and uh, we ask them all to come on the boat as well mm -hmm. because on the boat you you can walk right up and talk to them it's it's they're so approachable like doing that but i remember the very first conference where we had and we presented these uh baskets these gift baskets and i remember dave warnock saying to seth he say hey, seth boy we don't get treated like this anywhere else do we Aww. So that's and the, the the people that we have coming, the speakers are so so good. Like they're like they're they do like a lot of. I've been to a lot of conferences where the person come in and give their their speech and leave. Mm -hmm. Like our speakers stay the whole time. I and love I, it. I, I remember Seth saying there last year that uh, he said last time he'll leave. But he said, you've got such a good lineup. He said, I want to hear them all. So Seth never, the two conferences we've had with him there, he's never left the room. He stays there for the whole thing. Eh? That's nice. He's like that because he's like moving that. around all the time and and and, and talking to him, you know. Yeah. You know, the, so I, think, I think what Bob is saying is as soon as they land, we give them alcohol. I think that's really... <laughs> Right, we give them wine and beer, and uh, uh, and then they stay. I think that's the key 
the key to a good conference is a alcohol really, and maple syrup. So it's a really good and, Canadian. And well, okay. Syrup. You know, it's Absolutely. funny when you said maple syrup and I put my hand up, I carry maple syrup in my purse. That's how Canadian I am. Yeah. For my, co my coffee. So yeah. I've always got it in my it's, purse. It's a true story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I have a few videos that you had sent me prior, uh, just of a few of the speakers. So I'll just show them throughout. And do you mind if I show one of them right now? Just to sure. Is that okay? That'd be okay. great. All right. So I have it queued up. I'm hoping the audio is all good. Um, let's see if this works. Hey, it's it. Seth Andrews. I am. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah. yeah. I can hear okay. It. I can't hear it. So yeah, okay. Uh, a huge fan of Baja Khan. I, I've been here twice right and every year it is it has been absolutely amazing not just the lineup of speakers which is really important but the sense of community and the goodwill and the smiles and and friendships are made we've seen families come we've seen individuals come alone and they leave as part of a family and so you get to learn things but more than anything else you get to be a community you get to be human beings without judgment fully accepted and uh, you also leave learning a little more. You know, you know more tomorrow than you knew yesterday. It's really the full package. I'm a fan. Attend Baja Con if you can. So I didn't get to hear it, but yeah, we didn't hear anything. <laughs> no, no, the, the sound was great. Oh, good. perfect. Good. Fantastic. Yes. Yay. I, um, so the boat cruise, like that is such a great idea. Um, really good idea. To have. So is that sort of like, is that sort of the thing that you guys end the conference with? Or yeah. what? Are, That's yeah. sort of our last kind of the, our last hurrah. So after um, Sunday, we have breakfast. We have a couple speakers often in the morning and then um, off to the boat cruise. We have a little luncheon um, on the boat cruise. Um, and it's about uh, two or three hours. We go up the St. Clair oh, River, nice. which is, uh, is a, beautiful piece of water. It's called uh, Blue Water for a reason. And on one side, you have Canada. And on the other side, you have the United States. So oh, cool. uh, we go right up, right up the middle. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity. It's a beautiful view. And, and uh, as Bob said, a great opportunity to, to talk to people and meet with people because once they're on the boat, they're not getting off. So you're, you have <laughs> the speakers where you want them. So it's good. Yeah. Perfect. Lovely. Yeah. What I might jump in here and tell you a little bit. Um, we're more interested in quality than we are in quantity. Yeah. And on this boat, it's it's licensed for 192 people. and uh, But I've been on it many a time. And I know when it gets up around 160, it gets a bit crowded. Right. So we're limiting it to 160. Okay. Because we don't want Perfect. people not to have a good experience on a day. And it's the same with our conference. Our board, the biggest argument we have or decision making we have to right now is when we're going to cut it off at because right. we, it, uh, just to tell you about the, the hotel, the room, they license or advertise to have 440 people capacity, mm -hmm. but that's without a stage. So when you put a stage in, now it drops it down to about 420. We're thinking of dropping or cutting it off at 350. Because oh, that's great. We, Keep it more intimate. What, we, yeah, we don't want the pe people to not have a good experience. To, to, to crowd people in to get quant quality, or quantity isn't what we want. We want right. everybody to have real quality. The, the one thing we thought of doing, the first conference, was have the VIP dinner not with the round tables and then have them set up uh, uh, like the theater style. Theater style, we could put 700 people in there. But can, can you imagine what kind of conference would be with crowded with everybody and 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 and, and theater type chairs? No, yeah. we like the we like the the tables, and we we're gonna we, we want quality, and that's what. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that, and it doesn't like even it gets gives the people who are attending opportunity to get to know other attendees as well, not just not just the speakers. getting to talk to the speakers. I yeah. mean, which is amazing, but you also get to build probably connections with. Other people who are there. Yeah, that's absolutely. the kind of thing that I would like. Yeah, it, I would we like. like we like people to think of it as as, as, a, as a family reunion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, together. and one of the things that we do when someone comes to the conference, 
if this is their third year, we have ribbons, horizontal ribbons we put in the bottom of their of their name badge. If they're a second time attendee, they'll have a second time badge on there. And if they're a third time, they'll have a third on there. And so it just makes people feel part of it, you know, and stuff yeah. like that. So uh, that's great. Yeah. We also have the way we have the room set up at the back of the room. We're able to have the tables for the speakers. Most of the speakers bring uh, books and um, it gives people an opportunity to not only, you know, purchase some books from the speakers, but also, you know, talk to them about it as they're, as they're doing that. So right. you know, not just another opportunity to, uh, to chat with, with the speakers. So. Right. Well, if I can, if I can jump in again, I'm going to tell you about something that we're going to do this year. One of the things we try to not only educate the people, but we want them to have fun, you know, and that's why the boat's there. But what we're doing this year on our, on our after party, we've always charged for that. This year it's going to be free. It's part of the, of the thing. Cause we wow. want people to come to that, that thing. And, uh, we're having a, a pitcher, youth pitcher contest. And what we, all of our speakers are get, have already submitted pictures to me when they're two to four years old. <laughs> now, can you imagine what, what Arn Raw looks like? <laughs> you know? Anyway, so how we're working this, and we're, we're hoping to, I hate to even quote the number because if we don't get up that high, but we're thinking of having the prizes up at the eight to a thousand dollars, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, when people come in, they'll be on the table. There will be entry forms we're going to fill out. And we, we on, on the, the room has five pull-down projector screens. And uh, and so what, we, what we we're going to do is we got a, a, like a, a thumbnail thing where we'll, we'll take one at a time. The picture of, of, say, Seth will come up. Okay. Stay on the on the five screens for about four minutes, <laughs> and our our thinking is it'll get people talking at their tables. Well, who do you think that is? Who do you think <laughs> that is? And stuff like that. And then we'll, we'll, we're going, going to go through. Uh, there's going to be thirteen because we've asked Dave Warnock to, to submit. Oh, okay. It. Dave was 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 booked to come this year, but unfortunately he, he couldn't come. But he's gonna he's gonna send us a um, a short video, you know, uh, telling everybody how he's doing, but he'll be, he'll have a, have a baby picture as well. So, uh, so at the end, after we run the, everybody through like four minutes, so each one, then we're going to have them, we'll go through them one more time. But when it, whoever's picture comes up, whoever that picture is, will come up on, up on stage and say, Hey, that, this is me kind of thing. Ah, and that's so, brilliant. I and love if, stuff like that. Yeah. And if you think it's easy, I'm telling you, it's not, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, we're not going to, we're everybody, every, if everybody thinks they're all going to get it right, there's no way. It's just <laughs> with this difficult. one, with this one, if she, if it was her, she looks exactly the same. <laughs> well, there's would never work with her. Yeah. <laughs> Hammett and Matta, everybody's going to know. It just looks like Hammett, you know. <laughs> but, but there's other ones, like I say. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and I can't wait to see that. Uh, oh, me too. We'll Probably with David uh, Fitzgerald and, and uh, mm. you know, there's and, and Josh and, and his wife, Megan. Oh, like, yeah. They're going to have, they're going to, it's going to be fun. I just mm. know. We like that, like I say, we're trying to put fun in and in, in, oh. in, well as uh, the other stuff. And the other thing we've done this year, we've leaned kind of heavy on the science part of it oh. rather than religion bashing. Yeah, we've got uh, I like that. Yeah, we, we've got uh, uh Forrest uh, by Kai, very in the yes. I'm so got excited. The gal that's uh, that Yvette, she, who's this, this, it's called herself a Psy Babe. You know, in science, we're, we've got a, a real good variety, you know. Wow. Yeah. We were going to have a picture of Bob up for the baby pictures, too, but the horse and buggy would probably give it away. So we opted not to. Oh, oh, oh. We opted not to do that. But, but, uh, uh, we for opted our, not to do that. For our, for our, for our American friends, uh, we're also going to have little, we're going to have bowls of uh, both uh, 
uh, all dressed potato chips, and we're going to have some ketchup potato chips. Yeah. And if, oh, that uh, would be so fun. If you're American and don't know what all dressed potato chips are, then you better get a ticket because They're good. Are you'll you be able to find poutine? out at Baja. Are you serving uh, poutine? <laughs> no, we can't do poutine, but we're very close to uh, very close to the uh, Blue Water Bridge, and a big thing in Sarnia is fries under the bridge. So what, what is that? So the, the, bridge, the bridge, the bridge goes Just over to. Okay. to uh the united states it's the it's yeah. the border and they have, there's fry trucks underneath the bridge oh. people will just go down there and they'll eat fries watch submarine races and and uh yeah enjoy the under oh the so it's, how do you watch it's submarine literally just fries, fries. <laughs> I'm eating fries under we'll a sit, bridge sit and watch the water go by oh okay yeah. that's the odd, exactly. the odd, the odd here and there but yeah, yeah. So yeah, you, you got that right. I yeah. watched the submarine races. Like, yeah. That's yeah. actually so fun to like have those types of things to, for the Americans to try, like some of our junk food treats. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. yeah. So it's so different though. There's a lot of things out east that are different even from here in Western Canada. Even I don't know, there's a lot of things. Like I noticed one of you, I think Bob said A. We don't say that so much in Western Canada. As you really you say it a lot more than we do. We say hey. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say, yeah. We, we, we add the H. We add the H. Yeah. We <laughs> say, oh, what did you think of that? Hey. And yeah. my, my American friends say, see, you do say it. And I say, no. I said, hey. Yeah. That's and I remember thing. my grandpa who was from Ireland. Every time I said hey as a key, he said, hey is for horses. Yeah. <laughs> so I always say hey, not a. But yeah. you said hey, Bob, I heard you. <laughs> The other thing I was saying a while ago about the advantages we have is our location. When you come mm -hmm. over the Blue Water Bridge, you can't miss it. It's right there at the bottom of the bridge. You look to your right, and there's the force. It's right there. I've been to a lot of conferences, probably been to 30 of them in my day, and a lot of them are held at, at universities and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I remember going to the one, it was called the Gateway to Reason out of St. Louis, and it was at the university out there. It took me forever. To, to find the place because not only can you find the, the university, you've been to a university, how many buildings they got? Oh yeah. Find the, the right one. And uh, I just went to a function at the university of Windsor about a month ago and I knew it was there, but it took me forever to find the room. And, and I ended up parking probably a mile and a half away because it, it, it's so hard. The advantage we have, they come over the border. It's right there. And the other thing I'd like to mention, how easy it is to cross the border. Everybody thinks oh. passports and all that stuff. To cross the border, Just there's four license. things that will get you over. One is a passport. That's all you need. The yeah. second is a Nexus card, which is all you need. Yeah, mine expired. If you have a driver's license that's enhanced, that has your picture on, that's mm -hmm. all they need, a driver's mm -hmm. license with a picture on. And if they don't have a driver's license with a picture, they have to have a driver's license with a birth certificate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's four ways to come out. It's very yeah. easy. I yeah. left the border. I'm in Port Huron probably two or three times a week. It's so easy to go over and back, you know. Yeah, it is. We're it is very it easy to it. cross the border. Um, yeah. Really quick. I used to live uh, in Surrey, British Columbia, which is like a five minute drive from the Washington state border. And I would go down to Seattle, not even not even as far as Seattle. And people would be like, Bellingham. where are you from? And I'm like. I'm just from like Vancouver, Canada. They're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. you've never been. And they're like, you're like 20 no. minutes away. What is wrong with you? And I'm like, yeah. it's really close. Like, it's not far at all. You should come no. sometime. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, yeah, I've always wanted to go to Canada. And I'm like, like you should just go. <laughs> so, right yeah. there. It's, it is super easy to cross the border. I've been doing yeah. it my, my whole you, life. It's just by air, you have to have a passport. Yeah, but, by, by, land, land. but by, land. by land. So, you're right. Like, fly to the closest airport and then yeah cross yeah. or whatever and so the, what is the closest airport well he so gave a for bunch the, oh, so those coming oh, in from uh cities. from the u.s detroit is the closest airport so detroit's about 45 minutes away yeah um and we do uh uh have on our website we'll have the information for a shuttle service there you that go. actually runs there you go the airport to Sarnia. So if there's enough people, we can they can do a shuttle. We we uh, use them to move the speakers because most of the speakers land in Detroit, right? And so we have the shuttle service go pick them up and bring them over. 
Um, okay. So that's what do you see at the border? We got a busload of atheists yeah. here. We're, <laughs> we're smuggling atheists. What are you bringing across? Yeah. Atheists. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what they say, and that's one reason why I don't go and do it because. Yeah. Um, I would hate to. Well, get we don't care in Canada. If we, we don't, don't have in we God. We trust on our our money. You. No. You, they do. So yeah. Um, yeah. And then for for Canada, um, um, Toronto is about um, two and a half hours away. Um, that's where we're flying in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a bit far. But yeah. I was like, oh, whatever, yeah. whatever. Or if you really, if you want to drive shorter, you can do a, a, a Toronto to London um, hop too. It's about a twenty minute flight. Um, the WestJet flies yeah. into London sixty miles away. I wish I knew that. We didn't. I don't know. know what I was thinking, but it's yeah. okay. Jason, we had a lovely helpful. offer from yeah. Jason. It has been helpful finding so, us our our way to. He's going to drive Stacy and her mom. From some point and help us with trains and all the trains. Yeah. Anyways, nice. helpful. so yeah. the other yeah. thing I, I'd like to, to bring up is the food. The Ooh, meal. food. Yeah. I talk I, about I, food, I, baby. That I've been to a lot of conferences. <laughs> I went down to one in Hickory, uh, North Carolina, back a few years ago. In fact, I went down there to see it twice, and they advertised that lunch was included in, in on, on your registration. When it, when it came lunchtime, everybody had to jump in their car and drive three blocks to a to a local park where they had a one of their members cooking hot dogs on on oh, a grill. Oh, wait till you see the conference our luncheon we have. It had salad, soup, everything. You got the, me at salad. The meal, <laughs> the meal functions we have they <laughs> blow you away, and uh, oh. and that's that's so important to us. We don't the. The breakfast that we have, people are going to be blown away when they see the breakfast. It's even better than last year because we did have a problem last year with uh, the, the vegan and and, and uh, uh, stuff like that, like like yeah. gluten free and all of them were they can only eat the, the bacon and the eggs and stuff like that. There wasn't a whole bunch there, you know, other than potatoes stuff. This yeah. year. We're, we've expanded it. We're putting a premium one on it. It not only has bacon, it's got sausage, all that stuff, but it's going to have fresh fruit. It's going to have yogurt. It's going to have bagels, uh, 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 muffins, and the whole bottle of wax. It, it's 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 going to blow them away when they see it. You wax eaters, you're 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 <laughs> covered. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Um. I have a question from someone, and this is another okay. SR. It's like, <laughs> yeah, sweetly rational. Yeah. Um, and this is a great. Have any arrangements or deals been made for accommodations for those staying for multiple days? So is there any room rates at the hotel for the conference? Yes. Uh, the We got a special rate. of uh, It's $134 uh, Canadian plus a tax. Oh. $25 American. Yeah. When it's translated to American, it's less than $100. Yeah. And uh, and like I say, it's a brand spanking new place. It's a four point Sheridan. It's for to get a hotel oh that quality. Uh, it's unreal because I never got a chance to go down to uh, Cass Medchley's uh, celebration. Uh, I know. I, I wanted to be I, there so I, bad. I had to cancel out. But I was trying to get a room down there. And I'm telling you, I know you wouldn't get nothing down in that area for I know. less than in Canadian dollars, at least yeah. a couple hundred bucks. You know, yeah, so we we do have a a, a real good rate, and uh, yeah. So and, and I I uh, I live about half an hour away from Sarnia, so last year I stayed at the hotel, um, uh, and then also if you know if anyone needed anything, there was you know someone there from the board. Uh, right. And it was a beautiful room. Like it really was a lovely room. So um, definitely, uh, you know, for that kind of, I've spent, you know, twice that much and had a room not as nice. So right, they've done a beautiful right. job on the renovations. I'm yeah. trying to find some pictures, but. I don't the know other why. thing uh, that uh, there's a, a casino, like within walking distance from where we are, we have beautiful beaches here. Like the, uh, they're probably two miles away. So if people come with their family and they want to be able to go to beaches and stuff, that there's a lot of, of uh, other attractions here. When we we always on our promotion 
tell people take advantage of the low rate because they can come in a couple of days early and stay a couple of days later for the same rate and enjoy the area. You know? Wow. That's lovely. Um, wow. I'm going to show like another it? one of the videos. Okay. okay. Of, let's see. Let's do Dr. Josh. And again, hopefully you can hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, I just really had a great time at BajaCon 2023. I will definitely be coming back for 2024. I mean, it seems like each year the speakers get better. I mean, we have better topics, we have better discussion. You know, it's, it's very um, oriented toward getting to know each other. There's always round table, you know, uh, setups that people are, you're always talking to the people that are at your table and instead of just facing forward, uh, it, you know, and not getting to know the people around you. So yeah, it's, it's a great time out here on the ship. And uh, yeah, just really great. Definitely uh, come out and uh, join us next year, BajaCon 2024. Recordings just got better. Did they? So, yeah. what did he say? He loved no, it. We, we couldn't <laughs> hear it. I well, watched them. I watched them a few weeks ago, but yeah, <laughs> he, he, he did love it. He, he did. It's uh, for those. It's not as big as a ship. He did say we're a sh on the ship. It's really a boat. But other than right. that, okay, that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I was excited before, but I'm like so stoked now. I don't want to wish the summer away. Okay. That's what I said in the chat before you got here. I go, but, I don't want to wish the summer away. Yeah. But I'm really ex like, I, I can't wait for this because yeah. we haven't even said the date. So it's August 9th, 10th, and 11th. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's a Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. So what is sort of the, the timeline of how how the weekend goes sure so friday night uh we start uh, registering people and then friday uh evening is when we have the vip dinner um and it's okay. a it's a plated um sit down uh meal um and then saturday after breakfast we get we get right into it we get into speakers and um it's a busy day busy day of speakers um finishing off uh i think last year we were done around six o'clock with the last speaker um, which was uh, Seth Andrews to finish us off on our Saturday. Uh, and then people can go for dinner and then come back for our sort of reception um, in the hall after with, where, as Bob mentioned, we're going to have some fun activities and cool. and that kind of thing. And then Sunday morning, uh, breakfast again, and then um, a couple speakers and then um, off uh, off to the boat. And then nice. we'll have a luncheon on the boat and spend a couple hours out on the water Um pretending we're Gilligan and hoping we don't. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 that didn't end well. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm not ginger. <laughs> on the boat for three hours. Well, we go on the boat at noon and we come back at three. So we got a three hour. You can, that's another thing. You can get that boat for just two hours, but I, I just didn't think two hours was enough. So mm -hmm. we no, that's not it's a three. To, to, so it is a three-hour cruise. So just yeah. For... Oh, good. It was two. It was it three hour three cruise. Hour cruise. It was three-hour yeah. cruise. Yeah. So you're so young. How do you know that? I just remember the theme song because I sang it all yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, as long as there's a Mr. Howell, I'll come. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's wow. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. This is just. Well, so what, we, what we could do if, if we have time, I could ramble off uh, who all are speakers. Do it. Yes, do it. Do it. We have time. Yeah. Okay. Just let me look it up here. <laughs> all right. Or I have to do it by memory. The the our, our speakers are Seth Andrews, mm -hmm. and he's this is. So a, could you tell us who he is? I don't know if anyone's he familiar with him. Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> What's that? I. I said, can you tell us who he is? Because I don't know if anyone's really familiar with who Seth Andrews is. I see you, he's Wade. Just, he's just some guy from Tulsa, I think. That oh, shows, okay. right? Okay. She just oh, kind of, yeah, he kind of shows up at these things. Okay. Like he, looking he, so for, he has looking done for them friends. Before. And he I has think, done yeah. in all the conferences. Wrong places. Okay. Yeah. So he's can a I, pretty well versed. Can I, yeah. before we go on from Seth, can I tell you a couple of stories about him? Do I, it. I can't. Yes. This is what I we love, the stories. Enough about the man. Okay. He's, he's so, so Hi. great. Seth, where like, are you coming here? I came to our birthday what? party online. Saw that. Yeah. So well, he's with, so sweet. Uh, you saw that? 
Yes. Oh, yeah. so you came to our birthday party. <laughs> yeah, I was there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know. That's uh, kidding. <laughs> uh, one of the things we do for our speakers, rather than have to haul books and stuff on, on the plane, we have a post office box in Port Huron, Michigan. So some of the people will send them there and then I'll bring them the rest away the for them. Eh? Well, two years ago, Seth sent books. He sent two, but one box never made it in time. And it never got here till the conference was over. Oh. So I called Seth up and I said, what do you want me to do? And he gave me where he's going to be next and sent him there. When I checked, it was going to cost $42 to, just to send them there. I said, Seth, why don't you just let me sell them? I can, I, I, I think I can sell them for more than that. Only, only 10 of them. I, I figure I can just sell them for them. He said, well, go ahead. And they're 30 bucks a pop for a book and Canadian dollars, right? Yeah. Anyway, I, uh, uh, I, after I had seven sold, I got a hold of Seth and I said, Seth, do you want me to uh, send you the $210 now or do you want me to wait to sell the other three and send it all at once? He sent me an email back. And, or yeah, an email back, and he says, "Bob, I'll tell you what, just keep the money for your conference. You know, what? like you know, that, that's the kind of support we, we yeah. Get. And that doesn't even shock me. Yeah. And and the other thing, we had a couple show up last year for our conference. I'm sure they're going to be here this year. They're on their honeymoon, both in wheelchairs, both handicapped. Eh? And uh, I can't tell you the fuss that that." that Seth did with these people had the pictures taken. He gave him one of them for a wedding gift, gave him one of his books all signed and all that Aww. stuff. And, uh, he's, you know, but that, that man a genuine stuff. down to earth, oh, man. down to earth, just, and he helps us. If you notice on our, 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 our uh, promo, promo video, our, ours for this year will be out soon. But uh, he does all the, the narration on it. You know, we send him. Oh, yeah, Mr. All, voice. Yeah, yeah with, with, and he does the voice for us. So he does all kinds of stuff. Not only that, he's he's so good at helping you get speakers and stuff like that, you know, because yeah. he's in the circuit. You know, like there's a, a couple of speakers that I never heard of. And, and so like the that Abby Haffer. I never heard of her before, to be honest with you. But I'm just heard so many good things about her now, and and like uh, uh, Seth, he knows which ones are gonna take the roof off and ones wow. are gonna be bored. Eh? So it's, yeah. it's it's just such a great uh, 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 support for us. And I've al amazing. always said there'll never be a balk on without Seth. So valuable, what for us? You know, like does so much other stuff for us. You know. We had someone on our website refer to Seth Andrews' voice as honey coated thunder. Oh, <laughs> we, ha we have a friend now I who I, he's the same. I love his voice the same way. Yes, and he yeah. may or may not be in the chat he right just now. Came in the chat. <laughs> and you guys need to and hear you him. Need, he needs to be at Baja. Oh, he's got to be there. There he this is. May That's or may him. not be the person we're referring to. Yeah, we don't want to embarrass him, but you guys need to know about him because he's going to be yeah yeah we, we have several podcasters <laughs> coming this year and to me it's it's a perfect opportunity for the podcasters to mingle with the with the people and yeah you know and, and spread your like it's 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 a plus for for, for we're for, podcasters and we're always promoting everybody I know. Else. oh yeah <laughs> it's <laughs> all about spreading the we love just love Oh, the community I, our people like, yeah, yeah. It's, no, I, it's I follow you, Stacy, and and I, I see a lot of your stuff you put on, and it really helps, eh? So, oh, oh, Jeff, awesome. what else? What else are we going to tell them about this? Like you, you were going to go through the other speakers, Bob. You kind of yeah. Oh, oh, we just stopped. Oh, yeah, that's off itself. You got to one and you stopped. We'll stop. so. Okay, you yeah, okay, go. He's, yes. he's, 80, yeah. he's 83. Like, we got to cut him some slack. Aww. Yeah, you, you, uh, <laughs> you we're going to be there one day, Jeff. <laughs> Just, uh, while well, I cook this well, back look, so I don't forget. Hey, darn yeah. Go ahead, Jeff. Keep, you're the. <laughs> 
was your idea. You're the MC, I mean, Jeff. Okay, so the we, got, we got Seth. We got uh, yeah, she Forrest. did already. So we got uh, Forrest Valkai, as we mentioned. Yay, uh, who I'm just like, yeah. Oh, very excited. Uh, oh, I can't wait to, to, to meet Forrest. him. Um, and as Bob said, we really do want to make it an educational um, mm -hmm. experience, right? And uh, yeah. of course, with R and Raw there as well, um, you know, certainly is uh, you know helps with that. We got uh, Kate Cohen coming. Um, mm -hmm. We got the Science Babe coming, um, um, Yvette. We got uh, Megan Lewis uh, coming. Uh, yeah. Drew back. Drew Beckus is coming back this year. Yeah, um, he's always. A friend. Uh, he's a friend. Yeah, we had him speak last Love year. Him. And loved him. Yeah, very. Yes, very, he's amazing. Uh, so like, he's crazy. You don't have yeah. him back ever again. No, Doctor <laughs> uh, Doctor Josh Bowen, um, mm -hmm. Melanie Tarek King, um, Abby Hafer, uh, David Fitzgerald, who is another. Oh. Super fan, uh, nice He's guy. been on our show. Yeah. Um, and uh, and Hemet Meta, you just won't find a nicer person oh. than Hemet Meta, and and yeah. he just gets he gets everybody uh, up and talking and excited. And and as, oh as and as Bob said, um, although not officially on the program, uh, you know Dave Warnock is going to do a little uh, little video, uh, short video thing for us that we're going to play as well. He was uh, at Baja the last two years and was certainly uh, disappointed he couldn't be there again uh, yeah. this year, yeah. but. Uh, but he'll be there in spirit, which is uh, which is good. So uh, we're looking forward. I to I was with Dave in Nashville. I was his caregiver for a few months, and I was with him when he made the decision that he didn't think he could do it, and it did break his heart. Yeah. So yeah, I it, do know. It's true. It's it's a lot of travel, and it's a lot of time, and it's it takes a lot out of him. It it so, does. I mean, yeah. it takes a lot out of any of us. You know, I um I was uh, out in British Columbia last year for a, a, a conference, speaking at a conference, and. Um, <sighs> And uh, like it's a long day. Where were you? Well, it was actually it was a police conference, so it was. Oh, really, okay. Uh, it was a little different. It was a police okay. technology conference. Where were you though? Um, uh, we're in Vancouver downtown. Oh, oh okay. downtown right Vancouver, on the, right nice. on the waterfront, pretty mm, close yeah, to a really nice. You know exactly bar. where you were. Where? Yes. Good, nice whiskey bar downtown Vancouver. Vancouver oh. has whiskey bars. Yeah. This is new to me. Stacy's, she she's I new like to whiskey. Tea. We call her whiskey in a teacup. Oh, okay. <laughs> it has, uh, well, I think it has fourteen hundred uh, whiskeys. It's got like a looks like a library. It's got a like bookshelves full of whiskeys. Okay. With we moved. Ladders. We moved. We moved away from Vancouver three, three years, years ago. ago. So, I yeah. yeah. That, that's cool. Okay, though. but next time yeah. she goes to yeah. Vancouver, I know where she's going. Yeah, Absolutely. So cool. Feel mm -hmm. free to send whiskey too. <laughs> no, I, 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 I will. I will have some bourbon. I always don't travel too far without bourbon. So yeah, um, nice. That's Dave's can, favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. One street that uh, I'm really looking forward to is Kate Cohen, because mm. I have a a real pet peeve with me, and that. Ooh. I'm an out and out atheist. I could care less who knows. I'm I I could stand on the tallest mountain and yell it out. I don't care. Okay. And it bothers me when people are too afraid to come out and be honest. They eh? uh -huh. and, and the book that uh, Kate Cohen has written. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called uh, We of Little Faith. And then the byline it says, "I stop pretending, and you should too." Oh, and that's, that's I'm really looking forward to that because I think Durante, you, you, you probably should, like that. should be honest. They eh? mm -hmm. like I, I could care less what someone else, they, what they believe, and they shouldn't care what I believe. But yeah, you, would you just be honest? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. How long ago did you I think you, come out? You were, weren't you a cradle I, atheist? I've been an atheist my whole life. Yeah. Oh, well. And okay, Mister. But I, I, I was in businesses where it's very public. Eh? I built the first KOA campground in Canada. <gasps> I wow. also we know those. Oh I, my god! Yeah, I was on the board of directors of KOA for six years. Oh and my I, god! I also built roller rinks. I built a roller rink in Sarnia, and I built one in both sides of Toronto. I had three roller rinks. Okay. And, so. I grew up in the roller rinks in Surrey, Stardust Roller Rink. I took my lessons. Okay. When I was growing up, my nickname was uh, Skinny Mini Miller. Do you remember Skinny Mini Miller? I remember yes. Skinny Mini Miller. Yeah, okay. Everybody calls yes. me Skinny Mini I, Miller. She Dee, was a roller I'm, derby. Ro roller derby queen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dee, when you come to Sarnia, 
remind me to tell you about our our roller rinks. They, okay, they were, I will. I will. They I was were out of sight. Now, I, I tell you, you, stuff, you wouldn't believe. But uh, yeah, that's uh, cool. Durante, we need to get you to come to this. Yeah, Durante. You need to come, come. Durante. Well, <laughs> we well, need to start a GoFundMe for Durante not, so he can be there with us. On I'm this. not even. I'm not even sure when I kind of became atheist. I, I, I don't think I ever really believed. My father was atheist all my life, and I would go to church on Sundays with my mom. But it was you know, the Canadian United Church, which is kind of church light. Um, and it was just more. To hang out with, it was more to hang out with my friends than anything. My best friend. Uh, to this day, his dad was the minister there, so um, used to hang wow. out. But, but I don't ever really remember uh, a time when I necessarily believed or disbelieved. I think it was just kind of noise in the background that I just never. Wow, up on, so. you're so lucky. Hmm. Yeah, and wow. then I got really fortunate in high school. I got into science. Um, I wanted to get into the medical professions and total so opposite of religion. Into science, and yeah, it really did. It really it taught you critical thinking, and it taught you. Um, you know, the importance of evidence and how to, uh, you know, how to verify, you know, what you find. And, and yeah. uh, you know, that was really the end of it then. Right. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'm jealous of you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's one thing I think it's okay to say you're jealous about. Just well, one, oh, yeah. one thing that I did, like I said, I was in the people business stuff. Eh? So I, 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 I never even thought about religion. I never, never was involved but when I was about 55, which is about 30 years ago, I got thinking one day, I said, you know, there's so much to this. So many people believe that stuff. I said, I'm going to do a real deep dive and really go into it. And I did. I, wow. I, I did a study like you wouldn't believe. I, I took notes. I wrote a 17 or 18 page essay. I, I went in who, who the, where the Bible came from and all the different stuff and, and detail. And uh, and I say that if anybody read this essay I wrote, they, they'd have to come out a non-believer because you you gotta to to believe the stuff that 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 you have to believe uh. you gotta suspend all your rational thinking and all your your um, you mm -hmm. know stuff like that you know so yeah but I'm not one that that pushes the, the I I don't argue with people about it because. To be honest with you, I think I know the Bible better than most people. That's true. Because I've I've really studied it and I yeah. really know what's in there, you know. But uh, I I I don't uh, we don't Bible bash or nothing like that. No, no, no. no. A, a, a kind of a quick little story. Um, the last year before my husband and I split up, my last husband, um, I started reading the Bible to him after dinner at night. And I was just reading him Bible stories and he's like been a Christian since he was a little boy. And I was just reading him stories that we all know. And he was like, Oh wow, this is fast. This is in the Bible. This is in the Bible. I'm like, yeah, just regular stories that we all knew as Christians growing Sunday up. School. Yeah. Sunday school stories. And I was reading him things that everybody knew. I thought, and he didn't even know they were in the Bible. And it was like reading a child, a bedtime story every night. He was left, I left him like with cliffhangers every night. Like, well, how did it end? And I'd say, well, we'll read it again tomorrow. And he was so childlike. And I mean, I never speak badly about my ex-husband. He's a really nice man. But it fascinated me that he was a lifelong Christian and didn't know the Bible. It was just so interesting to me. So no, he's he's a Christian and probably still, since I've left him, um, still doesn't read his Bible. No, mm -hmm. it's just it's so fascinating. Yeah. What so, I yeah. found, like everybody hears the story about Abraham and and going to sacrifice uh, his son Isaac. His son, yeah. When you read the story, it, it it's 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 different than, than most people think because if you read it. He's lying through his teeth to his son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And messages of that, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, the, the, if, the, if you read the story and it, like, anyway. And how the hell was his son not scared of him for the rest of his natural life? No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Wade for the super chat yes, question. Yes, thank you, Wade. Um, he asks, is there any chance 
of getting oh, Derek, Bennett Derek Bennett or, hilarious. Yeah, or Derek Bennett or or Derek Lambert as one amazing. of your speakers. Do you are you familiar with either of them? I oh yeah, know. yeah. Yeah, okay. We're already working on on next year's. Okay. And, and uh, because okay, I'm going to come every year from now on. Oh we're yeah. Yes. <laughs> what we're going to do is rotate a minimum of five every year it's because mm -hmm. like a lot of these conferences. They go after a few years, they die out because they just go the same, the same, the same. We want them right. to have variety and right. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The, the one that I'm working on right now, uh, I haven't been able to pin her down, is, is Carl Sagan's daughter, Sasha. Sasha, yeah. Oh. After her. And I, I don't want to mention too many because it's of, okay. It's okay. But, no. But they'll, they'll be. Uh, 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 John Loftus, I don't know if you know John Loftus, he'll be yeah. there next year, I think. So, yeah, but it's interesting. We're related yeah. to Loftus is here in um, British Columbia. Oh, okay. Every time I see that name, I'm like, I wonder if we're cousins or something. <laughs> yeah, it's not a common name. No, but uh, like, uh, let me just tell you a, a couple of real minor details because we do it. everything. I, I went to all kinds of conferences. When you go up to talk to a person and their name badge is turned over, they can't see their name. We have double ones. When they come, to ah. the, they have double ones. They don't. And they're big enough. They're four and a quarter by, by five and a half size. So when people, uh, during the conference, all, they, they want to know who's coming next and all the what's scheduled. All they got to do is take their name badge and lift it up. And there it's on the back of their name badge. And I've had all kinds of people Tell me they're copying that idea because they, they like it. Eh? It's brilliant. So we go into all those little, little details. Eh? And That's brilliant, I, Bob. We do a, a program that uh, it's 12 pages that it, it, it gives the bio of all the speakers and all that kind of stuff. I've been to a lot of conferences. Very few give you a, 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 a program, but. That just adds some more professionalism into it. Yes. We got it. They, they, they get registered that night. They go and they read up about all the stuff. Yeah. It's it's all the little things that. that it's very well thought out, mm -hmm. very yes. well planned. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like it's just become a passion project for you. And it, I haven't even been, and I already appreciate what you've done. Well, I'm hoping we get a whole uh, group of new people to, to come and get new people to meet. And then. Yeah. Uh, also means I'll be able to reuse some of my jokes from last year, so, um, which will be helpful. Yeah, well, get ready for new ones for next year because we're coming again next <laughs> yeah. year. And Durante, we got to get somehow. You got to come, Durante. You've got to come. I'm going to show the last um, okay. video of David Fitzgerald. Yay. We won't Here be able to hear him. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dave Fitzgerald, and I'm just getting over this year's 2023 Baja Con. Wow, what an amazing event. Amazing speaker lineup. The people were awesome. The team that put together, Bob and company, so knocked out by you guys. Cannot wait for next year. I miss it already, and this one's not even over yet. It looked like he was like, He's a wow, real talker. mind blowing. He's a real oh, talker. He talks he too is. much. And yeah, just you got to. Just Learned a super nice shot. guy. Like, I, th I think my uh, yes. my girlfriend was running registration right next to his table where he was selling his books. And uh, by the end of the first day, we were invited to come out and visit him in San Francisco area because he's just such yes. a super nice guy, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's amazing. My next caregiving job it might be in San Francisco. I, I'm leaving tomorrow to go for my interview. And um I'll be sure to get in touch with him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've had him on our show. He's great. He's so great. Yeah, he is. They, they um, all are. Like all the speakers, they're they're not only good speakers, but they're just all super nice people. Mm -hmm. You know, and they really they enjoy talking to everyone, and they enjoy having those side those conversations, right? Yeah. Which, which is so important. That's great to hear. Yeah. Um. So, important question: When do tickets go on sale? And that information so, so tickets uh go on sale um eventbrite on uh april 1st okay. um so look out for that as bob mentioned there is a uh, uh we're going to be selling 350 tickets and only 160 um for the boat so if you want mm -hmm. to be on the boat cruise get your tickets early um we do have some early bird specials so um and yeah we're looking forward to 
to seeing everybody and having a very successful, informative and, and fun conference for 2024. Yeah. Amazing. Ah, I'm so excited. We're just, oh, we're, and we're very excited to have you. <laughs> I'm so excited to yeah. be there. Yeah, definitely. So if, yeah, this was great. If anyone has any questions, now's the time. Um, but I feel like if anything else you guys wanted to final well, thoughts I'll just, on it. I'll just give you a, a yeah. wrap up of, of the fees. Sure. Okay. We, for the for the two day conference, early bird price, and this is a Canadian, is one forty and one sixty. The one forty translates down to about a hundred bucks. So for Americans, it's a very very reasonable conference. Now the we have a, what we call a total experience package, which includes everything, which includes the conference, the the luncheon, the two breakfasts, the the, the whole ball of wax. There's there's six meal functions included in that. Then we also sell a total experience, less the boat, because some people don't want to go on the boats. They, they want it all but the boats, so we, we sell it that way. And then we, we when people buy the registration, if they want to come on the boat, they can buy the boat ticket as long as they bought the registration ticket. So it's pretty good. And people wonder how we keep track of it, who who paid for what. It's all color-coded on our, on our tickets saying we know who, who should be at the breakfast and who isn't and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think it's, especially for Americans, super affordable. Yeah. Um, not saying it's not affordable for Canadians because for everything it but is. But our but, money is monopoly money compared to yeah. theirs. So and, do it all, Americans. <laughs> well, the, the, this, coming, this coming weekend, the American Atheist Conference is on. To go to the VIP dinner, it's two hundred and fifty dollars US. That's four hundred dollars just to go For to the dinner. Right? Yes. Oh wow! And the register is about three hundred American, and uh, like which makes up about four fifty. Ours is a, a real bargain. It's it expensive is. to be American there. Yeah, I mean to be an atheist there. Yeah. And, and <laughs> the other, the other thing, you, you've heard Jeff and I talk how hard and we work at this thing. Yeah, our members pay like everybody else jeff and i and his girlfriend and i do we all, we pay to go we don't we're not doing this oh, wow. for money we're doing mm -hmm. it for the cause you know yeah. and, and we we give uh, the, the our profits to the there's two there's the alzheimer's society and the blue water health is where we're, we're giving our, oh, our, our oh, you guys are amazing it. yeah yeah so that's amazing. a blue water blue water health the local hospital um, unit like that runs a couple hospitals and some other care centers within our municipalities. So, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's great. Well, this was so wonderful getting to meet you ahead of yeah. time and hear more yeah. about it. Oh, and... In person, so yeah. And I, really? like I say, I really appreciate the promoting you've been doing, Stacy, because I I follow oh, you and I, you. I see it all over the place. You know? <laughs> well, it's, I only promote things that I really believe in and and are excited about so um this yeah. is definitely one of them and i've been talking about baja con since last year i actually had my hotel room booked to yeah. attend last year it just didn't work out because i wanted to come um to last year's and but this year i was like no i'm going next year <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. i will make sure this happens so one thing we did this year is we bumped it back a couple of weeks we were a sort of near the end of august in previous mm -hmm. years and for yeah. some of our friends in the United States, it was conflicting with some of the return to school stuff. So oh, okay. um, it was harder for them. So we've moved it closer to the middle Brilliant. of August. And, yeah. and uh, that'll be easier for, for everyone to attend without those other things going on. So perfect. And just an FYI, she's coming, even though we're not even, we're flying back on my son's, my son's birthday. birthday. So, <laughs> so she's even sacrificing to be there. We are yeah. sacrificing to yeah. be there because he's my <laughs> grandson. So, but yeah. It's okay. We'll make it very We're doing it for him. Well, if there's anything we can do to make your, your travel easier or to make things better, just let us know. We're, we're ah, happy we're to help you. I think you guys have been, also been wonderful. So everyone's made it. Yeah. Um, we're excited. Us, so we're beyond excited. We're yeah. honored. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I, I've enjoyed your podcast too, Stacey. I've, been, I've, I've watched them all. I, 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 I listen to a, a lot of podcasts. I, I it, uh, It's uh, entertainment to me, you know. Aww, well, that means a lot to us. So yeah. thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, it was nice meeting both of you. Pleasure. Tonight. Thank yes. you. Yeah.
Thanks, Bob. Both. And just wanted to say a quick thank you um, to our patrons on Patreon. If you want to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash the Stacey's Mom podcast. And thank you so much to um, Nonsense Aficionado, Patrick Has in France, Trent Oliphant, S. Martique, Jason Freer, Patty McDonald, Manuel Puente, Antinomi, Terry Ford, and, and our newest, the Apostate Sisters. Yay, thank so, you. Thank you so much um, to our patrons. It's so wonderful having uh, that support. So beautiful. And um, we will be back next week with another episode. And we will see you all next time. And I think that is. Oh, tomorrow. Really quick. I'll be oh, on Chewed Gum. Yeah, on the, on the line, line. With and, Arden Hart. So. And then Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be on the Apostate of Mine podcast with Apostate Anne interviewing Arn Ra's wife, Lalandra Ra. So don't forget. She's to everywhere. Check those things out. So thank you again, Bob and Jeff and everyone in the chat. We will thank see you. Thanks, Stacey and Dee. We really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, there's that. There's that.